Currently, 72 million children around the world are facing a lack of education. That is because there are wars, natural disasters, crises, etc. That is why there is crucial need for the reauthorization of the READ Act. The reauthorization would provide an additional five years. What those five years would do would provide uh, more development, greater oversight, coordination, and a renewed focus on retention. The READ Act was passed in 2017, and it emphasized the value of education for economic growth and social mobility, as well as promoting educational programs around the world. We need to reauthorize this because gender discrimination in school has gotten worse. COVID-19 has exacerbated the barriers and consequences of the lack of education around the world. And 58 million primary age children globally do not attend school. With the help of the reauthorization of the READ Act and, uh, and further prevention that the U.S. can do, we can help these kids who do not have access to education. Education provides so many things. It provides um, economic growth and um, helps global conflicts like terrorism, et cetera. Everyone has the ability to be educated and we need to have education to have access to jobs and careers in a lifestyle that many people do not have access to. And it is so sad. And with the help, that's how we can further resolve the issues surrounding global poverty. So I am calling on you, Congressman Mark Amade, to support the reauthorization of the READ Act. I sincerely hope you do. Thank you so much.